Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday, too? Yeah, when the lights went out, there I was cooking dinner. Well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. Yeah, yeah, I know I shouldn't have. After all, I heard my boy zap out all the nutrients. But, hey, it kills the cockroaches, too, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I... Right, the power outage. Apparently some plant out in Santo short circ Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. The CPD says the blackout led to 120 mil in damages all in all. The real tragedy, though? I can't stomach a cold burrito. 120 million eddies? Huh, damn. And just to get your hands on one dude. You got some cojones, B. itself, nor will it. On my way. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better Let to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Stay here and kill. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Me. I didn't mean Or to. a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good, aware, prepared. You're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to peddle it off to a backwards country, 
Somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different, that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why well, Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was two great... It risks someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys... A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal Work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. It's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent, let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. 
But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just... Hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. You didn't take her side last time when she left the clan. Why? Because last time... Pan Am was acting a damn fool. You thinking she learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that are worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told.
Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? I've never seen old tech like this. You know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? What cards now? An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them. As code in columns. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Even if we pull it off. So Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? <laughs> Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor is damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Come on. That was quick. Got a little help from yours truly. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Box cards! What cards? Cards punch with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay, thank you. Nice. 
Nada. Sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cars first. Nada. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Here goes nothing. that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah, because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. 
Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could Sit still your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to solve. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a jack. To Scorpion. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. 
blown kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Oh. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? ready? Let's ride, V. The train's leaving. You'd better move. Of course it did. 
did. Just as I said it would. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting from Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pen out! So it begins. meaning of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. They had them from the start. We'll see. Everything okay? Yes, of course. Yeah, <laughs> Though the yeah, great train okay. robbery bit of this was right. much more enjoyable. Well, I really need this off them. Uh, need me again. No, All you gotta do is call. I have cumin and chili. V. I am sure yeah, I will. Uh -huh. So yes. you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
Hi there, V. How's it going with Rogue? That's going. going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled? Hi there, V. River. V, hey. I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I should talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. Got some trouble with the signal range. Who knows? Maybe it's Dakota and her damn dream catcher. Sometimes I think about staying here a while longer. But then a city dweller happens upon us, and I reconsider. with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station, but they're dead set that it was Raffin that downed their AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietors stick into that version, so we're covered for now. Hello, V. Uh, Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters... private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Uh, sorry, but I've got my hands full. Maybe some other time? Don't stall on this, alright? It's important. Understood. Catch you later. Doesn't seem like you get a lot of customers, huh? True. But I get by for my regulars. Well, how's that? They buy... We'll come back to this.
Hey, V. You ready? You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. It's a different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. Got it? And Maiko, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. Then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Michael's signal. They'll mop up security, you do the Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You're not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. Besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? I thought I could do it, but sorry, it's not gonna happen. You gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. How's the stitch? We're inside of clouds. 
Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Similarly, the fine for possessing an undocumented animal will increase to $40,000 euro dollars. Thank you for tuning in to the M54 local news. All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? any fucking dinner everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway love you too you want a piece of me Data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. How's the stitch? Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. And in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are five. All right, I'm on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? On my mark. Go! I'll 
be late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Could have called off the guards, you know. Would have been quicker. Simpler. I don't have that kind of authority. Yet. Why are there three guys? What's she playing That's our at? target, Hiromi Sato. Don't have authority... yet? You sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own pit. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? No killing. I said it from the start. Oh, please. You mean that wasn't you being noble for your sweet little Judy's benefit? Don't want to kill? Don't. All I need is for him to grovel and plead for his life on his polished floor. Understood? Meaning you want to replace Hiromi. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect Clouds from other gangs? Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy have done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds need new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking- Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Romy's gotta go. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the doors to fuck one another instead? Well, 
My goal makes sure you receive a steady flow of funds in exchange for full autonomy. She'll continue running things as she has run them till now. But from now on, it'll be official. Maida-san? I have nothing to add. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Call off this massacre. He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose unless you tell him with which hand to do it. One last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. If ever you should require stable employ, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. Come with me, V. Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. Don't need your eddies. But you can have them. And have Judy wrapped around your neck. Keep them. Buy yourself something nice. The hell did you do, V? Oh, no time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be waiting by Jig Jig Street. You just stood there and watched her play us? At least you had the decency not to take her eddies. Decided to give her a chance. Figured you had a reason to take this to me. Seeing as you trusted her, why should I have doubted her? Don't pin this on me. I'm not. She knows the harsh realities of clouds better than I do. Better than you, even. Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Got carried away. This ain't how I imagined things panning out. But... Guess I should get used to it. No matter what you do, life's always gonna throw you a curveball. 
的な思考を楽しんでいますかナイトシティの今月の平均気温は安全のローマンで推移しています。Evelyn wanted everything in one go too, and uh, immediately. That's true. I'd always tell her that. I'm gonna go. Thanks for the help, Thee. Thank you again. Don't mention it. See you around, Judy. What now? What do you want, Fred? Fine. Be my guest. Thank you. 
This is the place. Tick, 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 tick. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh-huh. First, take a look. More dead politicians. Just watch it. This is uh, Peter Pan. He in O-Case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. He disappeared not long past. And what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain all the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as PDs. You got access to these dreams? Not yet. They keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh, not through the main entrance. We're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help.
Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. The lab's in the middle of an audit, so make all the noise you want. How are we gonna find this brain dance? Look for a room where they edit the dreams, autistic kid. Where are you going? Look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kids. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. They definitely don't store any BDs in this area.
No. Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. face. Yo! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Protocols? I'm talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out you can't leave now. without Peter Pan's dreams. I'll say it one last time. Out! Damn it, Yawen. Who the fuck do you think you are? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying color. God, to remember it. Ladies were erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again, especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. River and I get along, we're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh. I thought us friends too. Is that why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Looks like a dead end, River. I'm sorry. Audiovisual stimulation. That's what we gotta try. But he isn't on the spectrum. No favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. That mean you're willing to try? Just go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start.
Okay. Let me hear it. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a leadhead, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> That'd do. It's just, um... Uh, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. You could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Gang war. Hmm. Great role model. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. You gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. Besides, we are trying. Wanna see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line? Rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. You think Yawin will actually help us? All things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Really ought to focus on finding Randy now. Of course. been a while. He used to come over every weekend. There we go. And change the all since places like this never change. Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't.
Joss. Meet V. So V, is this about my Randy? Randy's been taken. Why didn't you call? Joss, I... Uh... Throw a blanket over the tree. Truth, like always. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Arguing's not gonna help anyone. He's my child. You got no place telling me how to behave. Joss. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell them it's time to eat. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk. Raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. How'd he die? Thal de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed, the father of my children. I'm... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. Let's, um, change the subject. Hang in there, Joss. What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Uncle River! Monique! Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you with dinner. trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash.
Tainted Overlord. Favorite band? You know him well. He used to send him an album Locked. every year for his Know where the key might be? Nope. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. And we gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Let me give it a shot. Don't know how, Ruby. Damn. Need to try to guess it then. What could he have? Who's the girl? His ex, Natalie. Let's move. Let's go. X in the pick. What's her name? Natalie? Gonna have to keep trying. Woohoo! Liberum Arbitrium. Dark shit. Sound could use work, but you can tell they put blood, sweat, and tears into it. Be Randy looks like his tag. Uh, give his tag a try. Be Randy. That's not it. Punch this track title. Liberum Arbitrium. That did it. Help me have a look around. Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. If they caught Harris in a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? I figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. This guy baited Randy like a pro. River, do you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. 
Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? <sighs> Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. That name. Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Look, the name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Not that kind of magician. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, eh, Come on. Let's grab a bite. Listen, let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. That's it.
Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers. Joss, we're finished. All done. Off to bed, then. We left some for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. Tell me you found something. Well, no more tomorrow. I sent some evidence to the lab. There's a chance we could know where to find Randy by morning. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. Now you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother, just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if he takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. Find your way, all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. That dock of yours is quick, not bad. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to... We're back in Harris' son, Kid Days. Report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal... Turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. Principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. You... you can! He... 
He was sick, weak. I just wanted to help. I had an obsession. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad. You, you prick! You, you can't. You, you can't. He, he was sick, weak. I just wanted to help him. Fuck you. We What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick! Weak! I just wanted to help him. Okay, I've had enough. Principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. Huh, I recognize this shooting. It was a case study back at the academy. Give me a sec to check which school that was. 
Magoonia Bend. Well, looks like the whole town got flooded in the 50s. Well, at least we know the general area where Harris lived. Guess that'd be that. Trophy. Old one. Dated from 2042. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Don't you dare talk about my dad! That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick! Weak! I just wanted to help him. Failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick! Weak! I just wanted to help him.
What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. Principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. Tony! Where are you going now? Come here! Coming! <sighs> Got no way to ID him. Kid's father was a real hard ass. Looks like a cattle bioscanner. You checking vitals. looks even younger here. Tony, come here! Yeah, Dad? Forget something? I asked you a question! I... I don't know. Choline, I'm at thy nine levels. See anything odd? Um... Too low? You were supposed to check before school. What are you gonna say for yourself? I was gonna die because of you. Gotta kill it like you killed your mama. I... I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Just dial up her hormones. And shut off that goddamn cartoon! How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Half the day I spent trying to turn that shit off. Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock. Cattle injectors for hormones, antibiotics. People ate meat loaded with this shit.
That's our cartoon. Little Tony really seemed to love it. Guess that'd be that. This might be the place, V. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. Got some cables. Got a clock, an hour to midnight. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. Must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. The machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. Look, another one. search stamp right here. City South. Perfect. Don't see Randy anywhere. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. Signage on the farm model points to Petrochem.
yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. One easy. Very great. I guess me was... Oh. Was this your boy? Was that me? Hey, the Illuminated Towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour.
And where are you up to, Mike? Where are you up to, Mike? Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now.
And where are you up to, Mike? Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. One easy, easy now. Okay, so, where do we sit now, exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Uscrax towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farm's located near a landfill. We know that, too. Those towers promoting the Uscrax album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm model's a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So... We've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. 